Welcome friends. In this video, let's discuss about the food chain and food web. This is part of a, a functions of ecosystem of environment and ecology series. So first, what is food chain? A, a sequence of organisms that feed on one another is called a food chain. A sequence of organisms that feed on one another. Okay, and this sequence of eaten and being eaten produces the transfer of food energy. I will help. I will explain you with this with the help of a this this diagram. Okay, uh, the food chain start with the producer. Here the producer is a uh, produ producer is living plants, and these plants are eaten by the rabbit. And this rabbit is eaten by fox that I discussed in the previous slide. And this fox is eaten by golden eagle. Okay, golden eagle after death. Uh, it is decayed. It is decomposed by the saprophytes. Okay, and this this sequence of eaten and being eaten is a food chain, and this transfer energy from one trophic level to the another. For example, the energy stored in the, these plants is transferred to the rabbit, and if this fox eats this rabbit, this energy stored in this rabbit is transferred to the fox. and this energy stored in this fox is transferred to the golden eagle if it eats this one so this is the sequence of eaten and being eaten it helps in transfer of energy from one trophic level to the another this is the food chain so there are two different important types of food chain and it is called grazing food chain and detritus food chain so grazing food chain grazing food chain it start with the plant The, it is based on classified based on the uh, starting organism, starting trophic level. In grazing food chain, it starts with the plant at plants at the base and continues with the primary primary consumer. It starts with the plant and continue, continues with the primary consumer. Here it is grasshopper, and then to the primary secondary consumer, and then to this tertiary, quaternary. Here in this way. So. this is the grazing food chain so in grazing food chain itself it divided into two different food chain this is called terrestrial food chain and aquatic food chain it comes itself comes under grazing food chain okay this terrestrial food chain is seen in the forest ecosystem that i discussed here and this aquatic ecosystem food chain is observed in Uh, either ocean or river ecosystem here the phytoplankton plankton the tiny plant sources are eaten by the zooplankton the tiny animal microorganisms and this this zooplankton are eaten by the fishes and these fishes are eaten by carnivore large fishes and these large fishes are eaten by the shark and similar kind of large fishes this is called grazing food chain okay and the second type of food chain is called the detritus food chain detritus food chain here it starts from the dead organic matter whereas in the grazing food chain it starts starts from the living plants in detritus food chain it starts with the dead organic matter okay here organic matter this organic matter is fed by the fungi bacteria nematodes and other microorganisms and this these microorganisms are in turn fed by the arthropods and bigger nematodes and protozoans okay and the chain continues where these arthropods are eaten by the birds and birds are eaten by other consumers so here the important thing is where does it start it starts from the dead organic matter so this is this is called detritus food chain and these fungi bacteria and nematodes are called saprophytes for example because it uh, it decays and, and decomposes organic matter so these two food chains are linked for example after living plants and animals death it it becomes dead and decayed organic matter okay so these two are interrelated the next important concept is food web food web is illustrates all the possible transfer of energy and nutrients among the organisms in a ecosystem okay 
it illustrates all possible transfer of energy and nutrients among the organisms whereas the food chain traces only one pathway okay the food web illustrates all the possible transfer of energy whereas food chain traces only one pathway i will explain this with the help of this diagram here the food chain that we discussed in the previous slide includes for example if this uh, plant is eaten by grasshopper grasshopper is further consumed by the uh, this uh, frog the frog then snake so this is a food chain because the chain of food of uh, eaten and being eaten it helps in transfer of energy from one level traffic on traffic level to the another this is a food chain but in nature it's not simple as i discussed here uh, in nature the interaction is very complex for example each organism has more than two source of food and it it can be attacked by more than two source of predators for example this rabbit has more than two sources for example uh, it can feed on this mushroom or the tree uh, sorry or the living plants or the grasshopper so this this has more than more than one or two sources and it, which in turn is fed which in turn is attacked by either fox or a snake or any other uh, similar animal like tiger lion so this is the food web web chain is different from the web okay this is the food web it in, it includes um, all the possible transfer of energy and nutrients among the organism for example all the possible transfer of energy to the snake it is higher is trophic level it it can get energy from uh, from this rabbit or from this grasshopper or from this frog so it illustrates all the possible transfer of energy in an ecosystem thank you this is it about the food chain and food web so ecological pyramid will be the next video thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel